Apple Pros. I'm here with Bill, and today we're going to be talking about air and dirt separators. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the Taco 4900. Bill, tell me about what we got going on here. Well, what we've got, we've got our 4900 here as a three inch connection size. It has the blow down option on it instead of the removable top. They okay. have two sections, either a removable top section or one with just a, a regular top. Uh, when you get into the larger sizes, you might want to get the removable top so you can take the Paul rings out, which is the mechanism which separates the air and dirt. Okay. And uh, and clean those, whereas these can be cleaned in place. Okay. So tell me when you would use uh, an air and dirt separator. We use air and dirt separators on just about any system that you want to to take make sure that you you keep it good and clean. Okay. So open loop, closed loop. Where's the best best application? Open loops. Uh, usually you don't need one. On the closed loop you do uh, because you're containing all your water. Okay. And uh, you want to make sure that with an open loop, a lot of times you're it's going into atmosphere, so uh, you're getting some things. And we got some other things that, that work for it on straining that where this works better with your air and Okay. Dirt. On a closed loop, you cut in and you would install the 4900. It would be in line of your process. Water's flowing through it. And the goal is to get air out the top and then dirt out the bottom. That's correct. Right. Man. It will hold the dirt and then you have to flush it from time to time to, on, on your maintenance schedule. Okay. Uh, does it make a difference between a hot water system or a cold water system? Uh, it'll go in either one. On the hot water system, uh, you need to be downstream of your of your boiler. Okay. And on your chiller, you'd be upstream of your chiller. Okay. Going to it. So downstream of the boiler before before your hot water mm -hmm. goes through the boiler, because you don't want to heat up that nope. that that dirt. And then downstream of uh, of you the can. chiller. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned uh, Paul rings and such, stainless steel. So stainless steel ring, and it's it's configured. So the water will go through the rings and the air will separate also. The purpose of an air and dirt separator or even just an air separator is that you have to uh, decrease the velocity of the water going through and change direction. On just a straight air separator, you do have a change in direction. This is a straight through design, but it's able to do that because the pole rings, it breaks up the dirt, lets it fall, separates the air and lets it come to the top. We've got a demonstrator that we'll show later. Awesome. That will show both the dirt and we can also show the air. So yeah. what we have here is a miniature replica yep. of, of what this- This uh, canister is the air and dirt separator. On top is the air relief. All right, we do have a drain at the bottom where we can drain it out. Uh, we have our pump, we pumping through, we'll come up the top, go down, we'll have this valve closed, be going through the air and dirt separator, then we'll come back down and just makes a circle. So inside of this separator, we have a miniature pole ring. Pole ring size for what we're doing. That's right. Each one has different sizes in it, John, uh, based on the volume that it'll hold and, what, and the flow rate that you've got going through it. Now we've got some sediment here in the bottom and we have this valve closed to make all the water come into the dirt and air and dirt separator. We'll see all this in this pipe, but right here, this pipe's gonna be clean because it's gonna trap all this dirt. All right, we've got sediment here in the bottom that's gonna be pulled up through the pump and taken through the system. I'm gonna turn the pump on. We start our flow, we see our dirt coming across, yeah. but we got clear pipe right here mm -hmm. where it's coming through it. All right, so as our sediment went through, it came through, it was caught in the pole rings and held. If we want to drain that out, there goes the sediment out the bottom. In a real life application, you'd have a blow down here and we'd just be blowing out the trash right. in the 4900, maybe down a sanitary you'd drain. Take it to a drain, take yep. it to a drain, John. Okay. We're gonna induce air into the system. You see all your air here, yeah, but you, you, don't, you don't see any air over here. You can see bubbles coming out here. And you see bubbles, you see the air bubbles coming out the top here. Mm -hmm. The biggest problem with the air is the water will not move. It'll get air locked. And so you'll have a, a piece of equipment that may not have any flow. Mm -hmm. And you gotta get that air out. The design of these pieces of equipment is to take that air out as you're pumping it through the system. I mean, almost every system has to have an air bleed in it somewhere. 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 Well, way I talk to, to the folks is the system is always full. When they install it, it's full of air. Mm -hmm. When they get ready to start it, they've got to get the air out to let the water come in. Mm -hmm. And so you got to build means of air evacuation from the system through your manual air vents and automatic air vents. 
And then we have uh, other sections where we just uh, have a piece of equipment like this that does it all the time, mm -hmm. taking it out. And dirt and air in any kind of system is going to decrease your efficiency. Yes. It's going to make your systems work harder and they're going to die faster. It also can hurt your pumps because mm -hmm. now you have your seals, which is dependent on the water quality. Mm -hmm. If you have bad water quality, you're going to be losing seals in your pumps. So these these pawl rings are are designed. You have a, a stamp with the, uh, a specific curve on each one, and and they're designed to to capture micro bubbles and micro levels of, of dirt to uh, cause them to uh, agglomerate together, mm -hmm. and then the air rises and the dirt falls. Yep. Bill, tell me tell me how often um, what, what it, would you recommend blowing down a system, or is is every system different? Every system is different, John. It depends on uh, what the volume in the system is. It also depends on uh, the quality of the water that you have. At some point in time, you'd want to check to see what you had, and then maybe in a 30-day period, you'd check again, and if you didn't see anything, extend that out. If you had it, something bothered you and you might want to do it a little earlier. Just, right. just depending on what it is. It, everyone is different. If you have a system that's been sitting idle, uh, you're going to get some rust in your pipe system. And uh, when you turn it back on, this will also take care of getting those particles out. Yeah. PSI, Bill, what's, how, uh, from a pressure standpoint, what ranges can we do with these? We're, we're ready for 125 PSI, PSI, John, and also for 150 PSI. Okay. So uh, most of our systems, uh, unless you're on a high-rise building, okay. you're going to have the lower pressure. Let's talk about uh, this nozzle here. This, this nozzle is for when you're going to drain the, the system and clean it. Uh, you can pressurize this. You have to shut your system down a little bit and then pressurize here and drain it to okay. the floor drain. So you valve it off. You're putting yep. flow through here and you're, and you're flushing it out the yep. bottom. What sizes can we get this thing in? These come from two inch up to 36 inch. Okay. Down. So they can be used on any type of system, uh, no matter what the size. Okay, and that two inch, we're talking about the, the pipe the pipe. Two size. inch pipe diameter. Yeah. And yep. then they're also rated for the GPM of the flow that you have. Okay, great. Highly recommend a, a Taco 4900 to clean up a closed loop. It'll simultaneously help you take care of air, and dirt in your systems to the point of almost 100% uh, evacuation of air and dirt. We see it works. Well, thanks for uh, walking us through a uh, air and dirt separator and the, and the Taco 4900. And thanks for checking us out on Mechanical Pros and hit that like and subscribe and come back and see us again.